going to show you how to make my bread machine hamburger buns and this is a recipe I slightly modified um, it calls for one and a cup cups of milk slightly warm I'm using hot water plus one third of the cup of instant milk plus slightly more next thing it calls for is one beaten egg I'm using farm fresh eggs not going to beat it because it'll get beaten when it's mixed next ingredient is one quarter cup of white sugar next thing is three quarter teaspoon of salt or if you know like I do that if I say one two three that's it next thing it calls for three and three quarter cups of bread flour i just use whatever flour i got on hand something like that see there's actually some space in there can you even see that probably should make sure yeah so i leave some space in there because i basically just scooped it out of the bag there's one Same way, two, same way, three, three quarters is probably closer to a half, three and three quarter cups. I'm actually using bread machine yeast, one and a quarter teaspoons. I'm going to measure out the one. I'm going to estimate the quarter. Kind of the way I do everything if you haven't figured it out. There's my one. There's my quarter. Close the bread machine. Gonna have to excuse me, I forgot to plug it in before I started this video, so. Alright, we want basic menu one dough. And then basically just turn it on. Gonna let the bread machine do its thing. One thing that I almost always do before it goes through its final rise is I look at the dough to make sure that it's uh, what I consider to be the correct consistency. So I'll... Alright, this is kind of the way I like it. It's a little bit sticky. Let's see how it's pulling off what's on the side. So that's kind of like the consistency I like. So we'll go ahead and let this do its thing now. Come into my bread maker beeping to let me know that are ready to be taken out. Now these aren't hamburger buns, it's just dough that's been risen. So what I need to do is I need to pull this out, get a powdered, uh, floured, need to pull these out flour a cutting board and complete the final step so let me show you how to do that two things you want to do if you got a really big cutting board you can just roll this out on the cutting board until it's about an inch thick if you got a small cutting board, you want to cut this in half, 
roll out one half until it's about an inch thick. Now my cutting board usually will do this whole thing at an inch thick and we're just going to go ahead and roll this out. By the way, the inch thick ain't got to be perfectly an inch thick. Just needs to be close to an inch thick. I have a particular glass that I like to use for doing this because it is just the right size. And it was in the dishwasher because I just made these last week. A glass. You know that thing you drink out of? Literally, I prefer a glass glass. The top of this is about, oh, that big around. So maybe about close to three inches. Once you got your glass, you take your glass and you push it into the dough. You're going to push it into your dough and give it a little bit of a twist. See how that cuts the dough out? Now, you're going to keep these inside of a, like, um, cake pan. Okay? Just lay them inside of a cake pan. So let me get a cake pan and we'll do that. This goes in your cake pan. You want to do this as many times as you can until you get all these squares cut out or circles cut out. Let me show you what we got going on now. It's only been about 57 minutes. The three minutes ain't going to hurt, and I'm actually hungry, so I want to get these done. You can see how much they've risen now. Now, something I did off camera, I put four tablespoons of butter in the microwave and melted it. So the next step you want to do is you want to coat these pretty thickly. You want it to actually run down on the sides and all of that fun stuff. I'm going to make a mess. So I moved that closer. So you want to put this butter on pretty thick. Every time you take this out, this will get just a little bit darker in color. All right. Close it up. Probably going to do about... Um, five more minutes because that's still kind of doughy even though I make this all the time I made them a little thicker than I normally do so five minutes this time then we'll pull it out put more butter on it well we are getting closer but still not there Go ahead and shut that timer off. So that's what we look like. I'm going to call that good because I am starving. <laughs> 